Okay, I have another circuit here. I had a subscriber request this circuit, so I figured I'd put it online for everybody. And what the circuit is, an automatic shutoff for a battery charger. So a lot of people have transformers laying around, and they rectify the output to DC, and they want to use them for charging a 12-volt lead-acid battery, but they don't want to have to go and shut it off. They want to have a way to prevent it from overcharging. So that's where I drew up this circuit right here. Let me explain what it is. So you can have your power transformer on this side of the circuit. The open circuit with nothing connected to the output would be roughly 15 to 20 volts DC. The power from the transformer will flow all the way over and into a relay, the common terminal. Now, when there's no current applied to the relay, the common terminal will be connected to the normally closed so power will be going to your battery to be charged the normally open terminal will have an LED, a green one with a current limiting resistor and this would indicate a fully charged battery now in this case I have it set for 14.2 volts you can make it whatever you want by adjusting the Zener value I have a 12 volt Zener and then I have a couple of 1N4001s forward biased to become additive to the 12. So it comes out to like 13.2. And then once the voltage climbs past 13.2, it'll start to rise and turn on this transistor, which will make the relay energize, pulling the contact in this direction, disconnecting the charging voltage, and indicating a green LED for charging complete at 14.2 volts. This could be any NPN transistor. I use a 2N4400. Just use one that could handle a couple of hundred milliamps. A 2N390 would work or a BC547 would work. Now the circuit could climb to 18 or 20 volts if there's nothing connected to the battery. So what you want to do is you want to have a Zener regulator here. So I have a 1 watt 12 volt Zener diode and the current is limited into this with a 56 ohm half watt. Half watt's fine but 1 watt is better. This is what it looks like. It's really tiny, nothing to it. 10 amps. This will handle 10 full amps the circuit. If you want to make it handle 20, put in a relay that can handle 20. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to simulate right now that voltage is gradually rising on the line coming from the transformer, and this is the line that goes to the battery to be charged. As you can see, I'm just going to use this power supply I always use. 12.6 is simulating roughly a pretty good charge on a 12-volt lead-acid battery. Now what I'm going to do is, it's off, I'm going to take this ceramic screwdriver, Go inside there. All right. Right now we're at 12.78. So I'm going to slowly turn it up. Once it reaches 14, you see right now it's 13.9. Still off. Current is still flowing to the battery. 13.9. Right around 14.2, it, it turns off. There it is. Indicating green means complete. Relay is open. 14.2. Circuit now will stop charging. So this could be connected and there's no more current flowing into the battery. The only way to reset it is going to be to disconnect the power transformer from the 120 volts AC. When you unplug it, the unit will reset. You could even, if you want, at this point right here, put a momentary push button going into the base of that transistor. When you push it, it'll open the circuit and it resets it, which is really no need for if you're just going to plug it from the wall, but you could add that right there.